So in this presentation, I'm going to focus on the difference between electronic codebook and cipher block chaining. Okay, so we'll try to see the difference between the two and where they're actually used. And, I'll, and at the end of the presentation, I'll show you a practical example of this. Okay, but first we'll look at some, some basics uh, of, uh, of encryption. So what we have is, is three main methods. We have symmetric encryption, where you use the same key to encrypt uh, as to decrypt. We have public key or asymmetric encryption, where you have a key pair and we use one key to encrypt and the other key to then decrypt. And then we have hashing methods, which provide a one-way function to go from our data into a fixed length hashed value. We're going to concentrate on private key and how private key actually is able to uh, change the, the, the uh, cipher that we produce. Okay, so some basics is that what we have is that we will have our plain text or our data. We split it up into standard message blocks. Okay, these provide us with our chunks of data. Then what we do is we take a secret key uh, and then we encrypt each of the cipher blocks with the secret key. And then we take all the cipher blocks together and then we join them all again and that becomes our transmitted cipher block. Okay, so the algorithm itself will actually define the block size and also the size of the secret key that we have. Obviously, the bigger the key, the more secure it will be against brute force. So the problem that we have with uh, cryptography is that obviously if we took a message and then uh, we produce the ciphertext, what's the stop E from coming in and playing back the same message again even though she isn't able to crack the, the key. So what we do often is that we add in what's called salt. We make sure that uh, when we generate our cipher, then the cipher will change. So it's not possible to, to play back uh, messages. Okay, so the, the, the first method that we have is to go for an, what's called an electronic codebook. With an electronic codebook, we take each block uh, and then we encrypt with the key, take the next block, encrypt with the key, and so on. So this is obviously open to uh, Eve uh, playing back or even probing for uh, messages. So uh, she could send in a message to say, uh, what is your date of birth? And the answer might be 1st of April, 1993, say. And she knows exactly what's coming back uh, is that message. And then she can actually uh, create a list of known mappings of uh, plain text to ciphertext. An improved method is to add salt to it. So with this, we have what's called an initialization vector. And the initialization vector is taken with a key. And then we should produce a different uh, cipher block. So this shows uh, the problem that, that we have with our standard electronic codebook. With this, we're taking an image and then we're using uh, top quality AES encryption here. But you can see with the electronic codebook, you can actually still see the penguin there. And that's because similar uh, areas uh, which are uh, encrypted will always come out the same. So the way that a JPEG works is that you'll get a, a pixel block here and another one here another one there and so on and they end up being the same the same data e each time okay so we get this if we use what's called cipher block chaining or cbc we end up with hopefully what we should see with encryption is complete noise and the way it's done is that we take our our uh, initialization vector we exclusive or it with that and then put that into our uh, encrypted block with our key. We then take the output of that and then that gets fed into the next block and that's exclusive word with the second block and so on. So we get a, a chaining effect between the between the ciphers. Okay, some of the most popular methods that we have in terms of electronic codebook and cipher block chaining are 3 days RC2 and the most modern standard AES or RainDAO. So now let's have a look at our uh, encryption. So I've set up a page here where you can actually test 
to see all the different uh, methods. Okay, so, so let's initially look at uh, AES and we'll go with a pass phrase of Fred, which will generate our key. We'll go for hello. And first we'll use an electronic code book. Okay, so electronic code book, there's 129 bits there, or 128 bits. So we'll go for 128 bit uh, AES electronic code book. Okay, so the initialization vector won't be used in, in this case when we generate the result. Okay, so there is our there is our encrypted content, and you can see every single time I press the button, it just gives us the same. Uh, I can try a different uh, IV initialization vector, and you should see it doesn't the cipher doesn't actually change. Okay, and that's because the IV isn't actually used with inside the computation of the of the plain text. Okay, there's the result coming back. But now if we use a CBC, and this time we'll go for hello and Fred, and we'll use an initialization vector of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. So now we change it, and we can see with every new initialization vector, we get a new cipher uh, text. Okay, so all we have to do is to be able to uh, include our initialization vector in and uh, we should be able to create a uh, different cipher blocks each time. Okay, so that's AES and we can do the same for uh, Blowfish. So there's Blowfish uh, ECB, electronic code book. Okay, so it has no effect when we use electronic code book, but when we use cipher block chaining, there we go. Okay, so that, that changes. And we'll try it with DES. DES is a fairly standard 56-bit DES in this case, uh, cipher block chaining. Cipher block chaining, there we go. So we should find that uh, we're changing all the time. And if we go for electronic code book, yuck. It doesn't really matter what we use. It's always going to give us the same cipher. Okay, so finally we'll have a look at uh, uh, RC2. RC2 is a 40-bit, not really a, a very good uh, cipher th these days. So this is our cipher block chaining. Okay, and electronic code book. Okay, electronic code book doesn't change, doesn't change, doesn't change. Okay, so really av avoid using the, the electronic code book because it is open to attack. It happened with uh, web, with wireless web, that Dan Truther could actually play back uh, cipher streams uh, without actually knowing what the key was. Okay, so this is giving you an introduction to ECB and CBC.